Do you know who invented the seatbelt you use today? Before 1959, most cars only had a two-point lap belt, a single strap across the waist. It was uncomfortable, could cause serious internal injuries, and didn't stop your upper body from smashing forward. Many people still died wearing them. Then came Niels Bolin, a Swedish engineer who had worked at Saab designing ejection seat harnesses for fighter pilots, where safety was literally a matter of life or death. In 1958, Volvo hired him as its first chief safety engineer. His philosophy was simple. A safety device only works if people will actually use it. The result was the three-point seat belt. One strap over the shoulder, one across the waist, anchored so crash forces spread over the chest, pelvis, and shoulders. It was comfortable, quick to buckle with one hand, and cut the risk of death or serious injury by more than half. Volvo patented it and then shocked the world. Instead of keeping it to themselves, they opened the patent so every car maker could use it for free. They could have made billions, but they decided saving lives was worth more than profit. By the early 2000s, this single invention had saved over a million lives worldwide. Today, every modern car uses Bolin's design, and wearing a seatbelt still cuts your chance of dying in a crash by about 50%. This wasn't a one-time decision. Founded in Gothenburg, Sweden in 1927, Volvo established its safety reputation by pioneering innovations such as laminated safety glass, side impact protection systems, and rear-facing child seats. For decades, they've been known as one of the safest car brands in the world because they put people before profit. The seatbelt is more than a car safety feature. It's proof that a company and one engineer's vision can change the world. So next time you buckle up, remember the aircraft engineer who designed it and the company that gave it away to save your life. If you believe more people should hear stories like this, follow for more.